everybody who enters the millennium alive has a sin nature, just like the ones that came out of the ark. And all their children are born of the sin nature, and their grandchildren, and they all have to take a personal choice of whether they believe in Messiah or not, Jesus. And as the times go by, year after year, see, after the inaugural banquet here, millions and billions of people will reject Jesus even though they see him. Say, well, how can they reject him if they see him? Because millions, millions who saw him at the first coming rejected him too. You have to make a choice in your heart, just like Adam and Eve did. And Jesus said this bad thing about us. Straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leads to life, and what? Few there be that find it. In every generation, the minority are born again, believers, a remnant, a minority. So by the end of the millennium, you know, with nobody dying, nobody sick, no abortions, no wars, no crime, perfect government, there are billions of people, okay? And only a minority of them really believe in Jesus. So God must release Satan, see? Say, come on back, sir. Can you hear all these people praying in their hearts, inwardly? Our Father who art in hell, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom return. Thy will be done on earth as it is in hell. And Jesus said, I'll, I'll let you have him. You can have him. If you want him, you'll have him. And out comes Satan, by the way, not having repented at all after a thousand years in the in Sheol Hades and comes back for a brief season, Revelation 20, and deceives all the nations in the world. And billions of them follow him to attack Jesus in Jerusalem and his saints. And guess what happens? They're instantly wiped out. The whole world vanishes in smoke and nuclear fire. The moon and all the other planets and their moons and the sun and all the stars and galaxies and the heavens flee away from him who sits upon the throne. There'll be no place found for them and he'll establish a new heaven and a new earth in which dwells righteousness forever. And friends, God will not fail. I have read the final chapter of the Bible and Jesus wins. Which side are you on? I won't ask you to raise your hand. Just raise your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, no matter what comes in next November's election in Washington, D.C., or where, in Baghdad, or wherever, I love you, number one. You love me so much you gave your life for me on the cross. You paid in full the penalty of my sin. And I vote for you. And I love you and I will serve you no matter what. And that's the best way, friends, I can imagine to end a prophecy conference. Say, Lord, I, I want to say about you what John did in the last verse of the New Testament. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Please come. I love you. I can't wait to see you. Let's pray.